quickly, I'm going to, I was asked to re-sing this song I sang this morning. And, There's a story that's behind this I'll tell real quick. And I was up in North Mississippi. I went up in there at a church up in the hills of the northern part of Mississippi in Revival. And I was staying with some people I knew. And they had a basement in the bottom of their house that was underground. And it was real dark. You couldn't see no windows. In daylight, you didn't know if it was dark or the sunshine. So I went down there and I was praying for the service that night. And about 12 o'clock, I knelt down on my knees. And I went into a vision. And it felt like it lasted all day. I had seen the Bible open up to the 18th chapter of Jeremiah. And I walked over towards the pages in my foot and I stepped on the Bible and I fell through the Bible. And I fell into a big room that was made up of a circle. And around that circle it had about a two foot high fireplace heath, if you know what I'm talking about. It's a brick little wall all the way around a dirt floor of this place I was in. And I looked in there and there was preachers that I knew, that I thought wasn't in this no more, as we say. <laughs> and I looked out there and I seen a man over on the left here and he was sitting at an old potter's wheel that he was spinning with his feet. And he started spinning this wheel and he had a man in his hand. He picked up this man and he throwed him down on that brick altar. And it broke every bone in that man's body. And when it did, I felt it in me. And I hit my knees because of the pain that this, whoever this man was that was on this wheel. And I began to plead and ask this man. And his back was to me and I, I couldn't see his face. And as he picked that man up, he picked him up. And he reached his hand down inside the man's chest and he pulled his heart out. And he put his heart on top of that old potter's wheel and started spinning that wheel. And there was a bench over to the right of this man and it had a bunch of utensils, tools, and had a wire look like a piano wire. And he rolled it up on each hand and he started spinning it with his feet and that heart was on top of it. And he started cutting all the way through that heart. And as he did, there was little stones that would come to the surface of that heart. And he would stop. And this caught my eye. He was so careful to take that stone off that heart. But I was thinking in my mind, but you're cutting it all to pieces. And you're going to be careful about the brick that's on it. I didn't understand it at first. And he'd take that little stone and put it over in a little plate he had on this bench. And as he did that, the blood began to gush from the man's, the heart and the hands. And I began to cry. And I said, have mercy on this man, you're killing him. And the preachers that was in the room looked at me and they bowed their head in reverence like you don't know who you're talking to. And I looked at him and I thought, what's wrong with y'all? He's killing him and y'all just sitting here. And that's honestly what I saw. I, and as the man began to cut that heart, I asked the man, I said, who is this man? And I was crying so bad on my knees. And when I did that, he turned around and he looked at me. And he said, it's you, Timothy. It's you. And when I looked into his eyes, I remember in the vision, the first thing I thought of was Brother Terrell. Because this man's eyes was blue. And I remembered the song in the visions, his eyes was oceans of love. When I looked into it, I saw like a video, a movie that began to play out in front of me through these man's eyes. I seen back to the time that I was three years old. 
And my dad and my mother had gotten a fight, and long story there, and uh, my mother had walked out the house. I seen the times that I was homeless and I was living in the woods. I was wrapping up with curtains. I seen the times that I was on the street and I was on dope in this man's eyes. There was nothing that I didn't see that evening. I began to see things that I had forgot about. And when the end of it, he looked at me and he said, because of your disobedience, my back has been towards you. He said, but because of your repentance, I've turned my face to you. He said, I'm doing something in your life. He said, at the end, you'll understand. And I wrote this song. Stand on your feet with me, would you? Brother Taylor's getting ready to come. When the potter picks up a broken vessel to mold it and he's gonna make it again he don't put it back together like a puzzle but on the potter's wheel he mold it again. Lord, don't let me see that old man that I used to be, Lord, removed in the stars of the broken man I am. Up in 
Before Brother Terrell went to surgery this morning, I was walking with him by his bed. And he lifted up his hands to heaven. And there was doctors all around him wheeling him in. And had a little area that was waiting on the anesthesia to take hold of him. And he said, you know, you never know what God is doing to a man. Put him in a place with him. And as I've traveled with him these past few months, church, he's talking about a revival that's coming like an umbrella hanging over America. He said a little bit in Tulsa, up there with Brother Blue, about how John the Baptist brought a message about behold the Lamb of God. He said, We ain't seen Jesus yet. Church, don't you believe that? He's still working on us. Hallelujah, we don't understand sometimes, but he said something great. The man of God said something great is going to come out of this. You can feel the hands of God. Come on, church. When the potter picks up the broken vessel, Yeah. 